Everything's good. Nice little one. See, do you like that? Like that mug. That's right. My grandma got me. I've not used this mug before. No, that's um. It's a big one. That came from the. Uh, that's the. 150th anniversary that was of George Stevenson's locomotion from 1975. Mm. That mug. Let me turn the sound off the phone. Yes. Oh, it's just perfect temperature. Good. You know, m mugs that your gran bought you to commemorate something that you put away and suddenly think. It's actually quite cool. Yeah. Or, or, or you think I'll I'll die before I use it, so I'm just going to use it. <laughs> um. We're going to talk about ambers. We talk about ambers a lot, but we're going to talk about planning. We're going to talk about planning a fragrance, which might sound like the least creative thing that you ever do. But I was thinking, um, if you were to buy a new set of paints, well, do you think to yourself, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll mix them up and I'll put them on a brush and I'll put them on a piece of paper and I'll see what happens. Nobody does that. Mm. And yet you get in a whole load of new perfume materials and you think, oh, I'll drop them all in a bottle and see what happens. And, and people do that. Um, and some of my online students, you know how it's... It's not a coincidence because coincidences are just... They're just things that happen and you notice. But I've noticed a lot of things happening which are quite similar, which is online students saying, well, I've, I've done this and it doesn't seem to be working. And you think, oh, maybe maybe you take out that whole section. What's that whole section doing in there? Mm -hmm. And they go, oh, I just thought I'd put that in there and try it. Think, well, So let's, let's go back to how we plan. And I'm going to talk about uh, an amber fragrance, which is what we're studying this month on the Synthusiasm um, Slow Sense School. Um, but I've, I've, I draw them, as you know I draw them. I haven't shown one of these for a while, so I thought I would show the picture. We can always... Um, right there, let's put a photograph on. But this will go on to the... Uh, the patron, and nobody really knows what that is except me, unless you know this system. So, I'm making an amber fragrance. So I've made that the sun of my solar system, and that amber fragrance is made with lambdanum, <laughs> lambdanum, labdanum, ethyl vanillin, and cocoa absolute. Oh, I've given it away now. <laughs> I was going to ask you what that was, and now it's obvious. Uh, so I haven't, I've got some new Cocoa Absolute, and I haven't put that in an it's amber like shoe before, polish. so I'm doing it. It does look like, it looks more like that. Hmm, polishing your shoes with Cocoa Absolute. Just be followed by all the bees. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's its essence. Now, you can use labdanum in different places in the fragrance, but I want it to be at the centre, because this is an amber, good old-fashioned amber, so it's going in the middle. And then I've done another balsams and resins planet, and I'm making that of styrax and benzoin, which I think is red, and sisters absolute, which is from the same plant as labdanum. It's just from different bits. It's from the twigs and leaves, not the sap resin. Mm -hmm. I've done a woods planet with a little pepper moon. Does that sound like that sounds like two different children's programs, doesn't it? Pepper moon. I'll put, actually I'll put a, where's that gone, a cardamom moon in, uh, around my amber, and, uh, no, that's a tonka moon. That's my tonka moon. I'm just that's, studying that, the, I'm studying right. the legend that's there. That's my cardamom moon around mm -hmm. that one, that's my tonka moon around, you're right. Yeah, it's good somebody's taking some notice. Um, this is a rose pink pebble. Now that's the only one that doesn't sort of fit the autumn colour schemes and go mm, pink. Mm. I don't know what it looks like in the video, but that that is that's a bit oh what's that doing there? But anyway, I'm putting it there. And I have a citrus one. Have you made this? And I've not made it yet. Wow. This is sort of the point. I can't wait to smell it. <laughs> I think you'll like it because it. I mean, of course, I made things. This is most similar to Shazam mm. in structure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it just looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
and and I sort of know how I want it to smell, but I haven't assess, I haven't put proportions in yet. But this is bergamot cloud, so you can mm -hmm. have a fair amount of that because it's kind of bergamot's kind of just goes sort of soaks in and takes a background mm -hmm. uh, feeling. Ambrox cloud, icy super cloud, sandalwood cloud. And there are a lot of things I haven't put in. There are many other accords I could make. I could have different planets and different moons. But that's, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. And that's a rose and pink pepper. I said that. Anyway, I think it's rose and pink pepper. Let me so, just see if I can get a better focus on the book. Uh, okay. I won't move it. A minute. I might, I might hide what hide it must be. Yeah. There we go. But okay, so this this is how I like to picture, structure, plan my compositions. So I know where I'm going before I actually start putting things together. So start doing I make that accord. But rose and pink pepper, how's that work out? And very I'm nicely I should imagine. I what sorry? Very what? nicely I should imagine. I hope so. Mm. Yeah. I, I think I think that'll be okay. I mean I could put I mean, I think you know, Diviner and Pink Pepper in this would also be amazing. I might, mm -hmm. you know, it might do that instead. But this is, you've got to have a plan, plans for changing. If you have no plan, you the potential for going wrong is very, 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 very high. You've got a plan, the potential for going wrong is less so. Mm -hmm. uh, funnily enough, I was talking Business Advisor Tuesday, filming Wednesday. Um, and we we're talking about planning, and and he talked about people who did really well in their MBAs. Mm. They were always the ones who they they didn't think, oh, I have a thousand words to write, so I'll do. I've got five days, I'll do two hundred a day. They spent the first three days researching mm -hmm. and got it all together, and so and then they wrote it like, on, on, the, on the second to last one, leaving the last day to sort it out. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get up from a C to an A. You do the planning first, then you do the construction. You don't just go, well, do that bit, then that bit. Divide it out into equal parts, which is interesting, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it's. I suppose it, you, you've got to bathe. You've got to bathe in something first, haven't you? A bit of wallowing, a bit of mm. a, immersion. How about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. you know, I always feel that it's like you, you throw yourself in and you let things swirl around until you get clarity. Yeah, I mean, I find this. I find that with writing, is that now I've found that the best way to go forward with writing is to not write anything until you're desperate to write it. Mm. So let it stew and stew and stew, plan, plan, plan until there is nothing yeah. else to be done. Yeah. Well, exactly. And I always feel much happier when I have my plans drawn like this. Then I know where I'm going with the fairy dance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And another thing about. This kind of, I mean, and I have, you know, a few of them in this book. That's Violet and Iris Fall in Love, and uh, Violet in the Woods. Um, what we got there? Ooh, that's a, an aquatic rose, that one, which I think I made. Uh, and, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is the one that's supposed to be called Things I Can't Remember. Uh, that that's sort of sort of a joke, but it's a seaside one. So, uh, and that's oak mossery, ah. which is about to be launched. So, that that is that's how oh Ravens Court oh, now called Court of Ravens because we found out somebody else owned that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, if I do a picture, then I can think about what space size to allocate, and I might suddenly think. Oh, no, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do this, and I can change it. But I don't have to start all over again. I can think, well, I might not want... Because I was looking in the cupboard earlier, and I suddenly think, oh, I sort of forgot about the caraway. Mm. And do I want any cumin in it? Maybe not. But uh, uh, that little planet might just... That moon might go and be something different. But if I've got a plan, it's much easier to alter it. So I wanted to talk about swapping in and swapping out. If you have a strategic plan for making your fragrance, and I send this out to people, which I probably won't because it's got... This is quite... It's quite difficult to deal with. There's a lot of naturals in this. They could go all over. I even forgot to mention the magnolia leaf. Um, 
Mm. But magnolia in the woods, climate because magnolia leaf smells like smells like wood. So anyway, mm. that. Um, but if you if you deal with them all separately and then you put them together, it's much easier than if you try and stick them all in at once. But supposing somebody says, well, I don't have rose. What can I swap in? So you think about not just the amount of space that that occupies, not just what does it smell like, but what what does it feel like? Who could you... I <laughs> say who, because I'm thinking about them as my people. Who can I substitute for Rose? And, and then I'm starting to think about substitutions, and that's always football. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you take somebody off, and you need to put somebody on who's... I mean, you don't take off a goalie and put in a striker instead of another goalie. You don't do that. You need another goalie. Um, I've heard that's I've heard that's yeah. how it works. Not that, but <laughs> not I really that you don't know, know. <laughs> but but also, I mean, if you, if you were you know you didn't have someone turning up for Romeo and Juliet that evening, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have um, Mercutio, you don't stick in the nurse instead. I think it, that would be very interesting. It would be I don't quite think this is a good analogy because I want to see that play you now. You now want to see what <laughs> happened if you put here. Oh, it, what do you think you're doing? Come here. It, oh, oh dear, I'm going to kill you. Um, yeah, that it would change. It would change the nature of it. It would. It would that's, be a different. Play. That's the point. It would be a completely different play. Yeah. You probably want somebody who's looks like, behaves like, and knows the lines for, but it doesn't have to be someone who looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It has to be someone who has the same spirit mm -hmm. and nature and will occupy that space correctly. So, mm -hmm. um, here's the thing. Thank you. Um, so I was speaking about, for example, I, I once recommended, somebody said, I haven't got any jasmine, what should I use instead? And I said tobacco. And they said, oh, but tobacco doesn't smell anything like jasmine. It's not the point. It acts like jasmine it feels like it's it's got the same presence and character like little bit what smells of tobacco doesn't smell of jasmine but they are kind of equal mm, they're sort mm. of equivalent so if you're thinking about swapping something in that's why you can't swap amber extreme for isoe super or is there's no they the description might be kind of similar sort of ambery woodsy but one hits you a hundred times harder than the other. So, so that, um, what could you put in? I mean, instead of a woods planet, we could have a flowers planet. We could have a tobacco planet there if we wanted. But it would slightly affect the behaviour of all the others. Mm -hmm. But so you're looking. If you don't have the thing, you don't have to go out and buy the thing. You can think, well, what what might do instead? Is, is sort of what I'm on about. Do you and know how, what this is? how do you, how, I suppose this might be an unanswerable question, but how, how can someone without the years of experience smelling things be able to work out what those substitutions might be? That's, I think it's the most difficult thing because I, I still remember what it was like when I was just smelling things originally and first of all, it, it took me ages even just to appreciate them. Imagine if you'd been brought up in a black and white world. Mm -hmm. Everything you ever saw was monochrome. Yeah. And then one day... They invented colour telly. <laughs> but you went, walked into a colour world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or your, you know about rods and cones. I mean, if only your rods worked and your cones didn't work. So mm -hmm. your cones started speaking to your brain. Yeah. And you can see all different colours and you just think, no, I actually don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. And if somebody said to you, you know, is that the same colour as that, you'd probably say, yes. Because these are the same texture, weight, mm -hmm. they, you know, if you didn't know colour, you just look at them and think, well, they're identical. Those, though, in the colour world are equivalents. That mm -hmm. pink and that blue are the same type of pink and the same type of blue. This is my point. Yeah. That you wouldn't sort of be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. But, uh, ah, th these could, of course, substitute for each other in yeah. the world of scent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't, um, so, this is labdanum. Yes. By the way, so this is at the centre, and this is, I mean, you can pretty much say, well, what this defines um, traditional amber with, um, 
after that, I'm, I'm proposing to use in this one ethyl vanillin because you don't need as much. Mm -hmm. It's about three times stronger, so you would actually need less concentrate in your fragrance to get the same effect if you use, let's say, too many. Um, so this is the ethyl vanillin. And if we put those two together and waft, we have... I mean, you could just wear this. Mm. That'd be amber fragrance, dilute that, wear it done. Mm. So, yeah. is it a fragrance if you just have two things together? Well, yes. Could you add more things to it and make it more interesting? Well, yes. But, you know... We could happily, I think both very happily we could wear this. Yeah, it's very nice. I think the ethyl vanillin's winning because I have it at 5%, the labdanum's at 10, mm -hmm. and equal quantities of dippage, the ethyl vanillin wins. So it's I, true. I would probably be doing, already I'd be doing 2 to 1, and probably with this I'd make it 3 to 1, labdanum to ethyl vanillin. And the ethyl vanillin mm -hmm. seems to clean up the labdanum. The labdanum by itself mm. is very, it's, it smells quite um, dirty and sort of earthy. And then when you put it next to the ethyl vanillin, it's, it, it, does gives, it a, of, gives it a scrub. Yes, it does. Yes. It's like, come on mm. now, let's stick you in the bath and get you ready to go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. We'll call her Ethel. Ethel vanillin. <laughs> um, I just think of it as sort of 1930s and going there. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's that's my centre, but I have decided to add <laughs> that. So I'm stuck on the cat. Quite a right answer. <laughs> I, know. I mean, that is ins oh my god! <laughs> it do you know what, that that smells like chocolate marmite. Yeah, that is amazing. And for those of you who don't like mar don't like marmite, it just smells like chocolate. Uh, but yeah, it is chocolate like, absolute. Yeah, it's I mean, it's, absolute, and I just got some. You know, it's like the it's like the <laughs> most riff, <laughs> just like refined, not refined, but boiled down. Also very sticky, and, and in last week's film we were talking about things which are sticky tend to act as fixatives, and it's not coming out. It's yeah. not coming out. I mean, that is really, 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 really great. It is fabulous, isn't it? Wow. Made from cocoa beans. Hmm. I could just... Uh, me too. It's just very difficult, you know, not just come out with a sticky yeah. brown nose. Yeah. Like, yes, different kind of brown nose from the metaphorical. Um... But yeah, so that I'm going to put those three together. I to think make... it's a plan. Yes. So I, I, I will fail. have to. I have to. I've just bought a kilo though, so I'm doing. I'm going to make it available to my actual students. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't sell my materials. I just sort of share them. Um, <laughs> now other amber things. Um, so I've got that as a light. I've got some aged sisters, and I've got some more modern, sort of sort of more runny sisters. So. I've made my sister sort of olive green in this picture because you can't see it. Oh, well, actually, there's a bit of colour on the cap, but it, this is an olive green colour. What is it? So this is from the same tree as, same shrub as Labdanum, the rock rose. Oh, yeah. Sistus ladanifera, I think. And it is mm. made from the leaves and the twigs. So mm. it's actually greener. That's really, really nice. Yes. I like that more than Labdanum. Yeah. Yes. It's a little bit more weirdly sort of berryish, but leatherish. Mm. I, I and also quite, weird. and also a bit citrusy as well. Yes. It's amazing what's in these things. I've also got Styrax, which this is the low styrene style. This is a little I bit more runny. I really so. want to write a fantasy novel yeah. with the lead character called Styrax. Such a good name, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Styrax. Styrax. As a surname or a first name? Or just a like just more one name. Just a name, yeah. Styrax. I'm here to save the universe. 
And that's really amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. Hurry up and make this fragrance. Okay, okay. That is um, so Moorish. It's kind of... What is happening? It's weirdly sort of honeyed. But... Mmm. <laughs> we can't just sit here and go, mmm, for... I mean, we can, can't That we? is yeah. so... I feel like there is um, the sort of lost umami of scent. Some things just have umami. Yeah. And that and the cocoa have umami. It's, Seems to be gloopy yeah. things. Yeah, goopy things. Um, wow. There's, there's a lot of interesting goop. Talking of goop, uh, because you spotted that it had a, a tonka moon. Mm -hmm. Now I could do that with... I could get the lid off. Uh, I could do that with coumarin, which might be easier than trying to get the... Ah! I will not be beaten. Another one. It's not coming out. Tonka Absolute. So it's sort of weirdly crystalline solid. It took me ages to melt enough just to get mm. five grams out like that. Um, so some of these things are a little troublesome and it's not so easier to use nice. coumarin. I wonder if I can sort of... see that? Yeah. yeah. That is, that's got the umami as well. Yeah. I feel like this fragrance should be called umami. Ooh. Umami. Um, oh, mommy. E A U. Oh, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Okay. Because at the moment it's just called spiced amber and that's terrifically boring, so. Oh. Mommy. Actually. I might name it after Mamie. It might become O Mamie. O Mamie, that's nice. Uh, because it's a the ancient family history. But when my father was evacuated to live out in the countryside, he was taken care of by Dr. Hawthorne and her his grown up daughter Mamie. And then and it's her. decided. Yeah, it's O Mamie. It's not really an O though. That's the only trouble. It's a. Uh, Ooh. It's more of a liquor. It's going to be, isn't it? So. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, that was at the. Um, where did your dad join the war? He was at the Bose Museum. He was at the Bose Museum in Barnard Castle. That's right, yeah. You know, I go there. Which, if you were driving around <laughs> the corner and you suddenly saw the Bose Museum in a field mm -hmm. in Barnard Castle, which, because it looks like a, a Loire Valley chateau, you'd think, oh dear, I need to get my eyes <laughs> Okay. Um, so what I didn't bring up is the magnolia leaf. But I'd like I, to smell that afterwards. Yeah, okay. But I did in like, secret afterwards smelling sessions with Arthur. So, um, mm. I know this. this. Is, are you back? Are you back on track again after you? No, it? I recognise it, but I can't name it. Okay, this is the Atlas cedar. That's right. Yeah. I just think they smell so. Well, you 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 know, well, I think it's um, it. I think it smells like the, um, the winning a triathlon team at the end of the Olympics. I think it smells like humans who are very fit and have done a lot of exercise, and have just sort of come out of the sea and dried off a little bit, and it. I don't know that's, how it comes That's out very of nice. Me. Do you know what springs to mind for me? What's that? A, scra a, a, a cat scratching post. <laughs> Maybe they're made out of atlas cedar. But it is, it's fresh woods as well, but it's... Mm. I'll have to name one of them Be More Ye. Uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, from the, apparently the British... This is such a side issue, but the, the British um, triathlon team, because... Yi, whose first name I can't remember now, but he's one of them, and he's so wonderful, and he's so calm. And their their phrase when they're all practicing and getting a bit miffed, and he's still going, and they their phrase is "be more ye," mm. because. So, maybe that would be alternative that features. Yeah. I still That's still nice. want to just do an homage to the British. Um, well, it's really just I was going to just call it Brownleys, but one of them's retired triathlon team. Mm. Things I will never do, a triathlon. Um, 
See, I brought the patchouli because I haven't put the patchouli in, but the patchouli would go. So if I were going to put the patchouli in, I'd probably have it as a substitute maybe for the magnolia leaf. Um, mm. But I have to go back and decide where, where, where does it fit. But, um, yeah, I decided Sandalore Cloud. So when I'm talking about the clouds here, I'm talking about using things in bigger quantities, things which will enhance the fragrance. Uh, the bergamot is very good at blending things together. It's... Um, it's 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 the person who remembers to get the temperature right at the party. Mm -hmm. Bergamot just <laughs> uh, you know make, bergamot makes everything feel comfortable. Um, the isoe super just makes everyone think they're a bit more. Um, I was just wondering what that alarm was. Mm. was. But the the isoe super makes everything. Everyone just think they're a lot better looking than they actually are. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and uh, or maybe they just are. Maybe it helps them realise that they are. Mm. The Ambrox will just fortify them. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I got, and I put in Sandalore, which is a mm. an individual woods molecule, which is somewhat sandalwood like. It's great, isn't it, Sandalore? Yeah. And then what comes into my head is my grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf. So it stood 90 years on the floor. They've never had... No. no. It's a Victorian melodramatic <laughs> um, song. and it, But it just reminds me of an old clock that we had in our house. So interesting. And what Sandalore does? Short, yes. Sandalore. We go again when the old man died. I've got someone... I've got someone riding a motorcycle very fast down streets of Turin. Turin, grandfather clock, grandfather <laughs> clock, Turin. That's what we love about perfume. <coughs> Tea. Um, we might accidentally be making a short to the point film. Is it because we planned it? Mmm. Maybe. Um, so, the points, the points we are making. Plan. It's, don't worry, your creativity is not being compromised if you plan. In fact, if you allow yourself to take time to think, what shall I do next? Oh, that might be nice. Um, it's like, it's like looking forward to something. Like you said about you don't start writing until the words like bursting, you cannot wait to get down there. That. I, I have been thinking about this for the last couple of months. It's been on our schedule for two, three months. And I've been thinking, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to do a spice down bar. I'm going to do a spice down bar. And so I'm saying, what are we doing next? Oh, spice down bar, right? Oh, can't wait. And I'm thinking, now I can't wait. And so, so mm -hmm. then, then I drew it. Um, and... Um, yeah, they wait till it bursts out, but then, and then they kind of sort of burst out of me fully formed. Mm -hmm. I haven't done the proportions yet, but once I was thinking about, and I actually used the, that that um, the little um, geome geometric instrument with oh, all yeah. the holes in it to draw actual circles this time. Mm. So, so now I know kind of the proportions I want to put them into there's gonna be serious amounts of sticky balsams um and then some little features uh, and, and then and that's what's going to happen but if you don't have one of the things on two of the things three of the things on the list think about what would fit in that space even if it doesn't have exactly the same aroma you could put jasmine in instead of rose you could have, uh, instead of a citrus planet, you could have a herb planet. Mm -hmm. Instead of black pepper, you could have cumin. But be careful, because otherwise you don't want to smell too sweaty. <laughs> that. That's the, you know, it's... Yeah. These things are not um, the law. They are the helpful guidelines. 